Hey everybody. Hey everybody. It is good to be with you on this Tuesday. Happy Tipster Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing really well and that you are crushing your day and crushing your goals. And I would love to know if you guys have a solid game plan for your business for this month and the next 90 days. Um, but today we're going to dive into a different topic. We are going to dive into membership consults. And the reason I'm going to dive into this is because um, it's just a huge part of your business, but we actually had quite a, a bit of demand for us to go through this again and to give a good tutorial on it. So we're going to talk through that um, today. So I just want to mention to you guys that if you are, um, well, just in, in coaching and different things, I, I see a lot of people's organizations, I see a lot of people's trees and I go through a lot of strategy with people and I notice um, one thing that is um, pretty common is top enrollers in general because they're bringing in so many new people um, a lot they often struggle with a system to also do the follow-up because their business is kind of moving at a faster pace um, usually stereotypically um, and then often the opposite is true of somebody who's maybe enrolling like three five six a month um, has the time to put in the membership consults and they see the fruit of a lot of LRPs that way as well. So of course this isn't black and white or blanket statements and if you're a top enroller and have an amazing retention rate, don't shoot me, okay, for saying that. Um, but I'm seeing, I notice a trend. That's what I'm saying is there is a trend and you might be an anomaly and that's amazing. But when it comes to trends, I try to educate and support everybody so that you are um, not falling into maybe some same traps that some of us have or are doing. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to talk membership consult and you can get this form on livenaturallytools.com. You can also download it for free. Um, and I think it comes in a pack of 10, I want to say. Um, but with your membership consult, the key with it is, is a couple things. One that it happens within about 10 days of when that person has enrolled. Now that isn't always ideal for scheduling. It doesn't always happen, but you know, if you're going to do like the thing or like, what's, what, what is the best timing for this? The best timing is within the first 10 days and usually after they get their oils. So now we're looking at a very small window of like a week before they enrolled um, and a couple days to get this meeting in. So when you're enrolling people or we have a class, I try to look at my week 10 days out and think, okay, when is, when am I going to need to meet with these people? When is going to be an optimal time to con connect with them? And the reason we say that if you're brand, brand new and aren't sure is because you have 14 days to decide where somebody goes in your organization. You have 14 day, 14 days to think they would be best to live over here or best to live over here in my organization. And now of course that placement doesn't necessarily have to be permanent, um, but we, I want you to think that it is. And so we are always thinking where's the best place for somebody to go for their oil education, their support and their long-term health goals. That's where we want to place them as well as what is the best place for me to put them in terms of rank advancement and filling in a hole and strategic placement and things. So. There's a lot um, involved with that, but it's important to have that meeting, okay? So when you um, have that meeting with them, if you can sit down face-to-face -face and belly-to-belly, -belly, that is ideal. My husband is printing stuff right now. Can you hear that? I'm really sorry if you can. Uh, we'll have a chat later. Um, so the best thing to do is to do this face to face. That's going to be ideal. And if you can't, a Zoom chat or you know a FaceTime type of call will work as well. Um, it's the reason I say to do it face to face is because you're building trust with somebody, you're building rapport, you're helping to build culture, and all of those things um, are like huge investments into your organization and pay off in the long run. And so. Um, don't despise that one-on-one -on -one connection, the coffee shop meeting. Don't despise the time that it's going to take to do this. It's really important that you put in that time because it will pay off and you'll notice the fruit of it later. Okay, so when you sit down with somebody, one thing that I want you to remember to have is always have a pen or a Sharpie. I like a Sharpie because I can write really quickly with a Sharpie. Um, and I can guarantee that it's going to have good juice in it. But whatever, write your stuff down. And make sure you have this ready, your form. And then on the back, I just scribbled this out so you can't see it, but you want to have their membership ID and their password written down. 
um, because it's going to come into play later and you don't want to have to be looking it up. You also want to have written down like the Facebook group, the user group that is going to be best for you to connect with them in. Um, so it might be a group that you plug into with your upline. That's awesome. But maybe you run your own group, whatever. Um, usually one group is enough. Um, usually more groups is just like overload for them. So just keep in mind, this is all fresh and it's all new. So you want to keep it simple. And then you want to put your contact info as well. Or um, if you're maybe um, training a new builder, you would put the new builder's contact info there because you want them to be that first layer of support. So that's a little bit arbitrary, just depends, okay? So that part needs to be filled out, nothing else. So when I sit down with them, I'm gonna go through um, how, I, how I talk about this. And a lot of my verbiage was stuff that Jenna and I developed. And then we have a leader on our team named Karen Amundsen. She's out in um, Colorado and she just had some really awesome tweaks in her verbiage and she's a gold leader out there and so I'm gonna be sharing some of the things that Karen has um, imparted and kind of tweaked within this as well because what she says works and truthfully when you're doing it this way you're actually gonna be shocked when people don't sign up for an LRP like that would be like wow I cannot believe they're not signing up for LRP everybody signs up for LRP which is one of the main goals of this meeting, okay? So keeping that in mind, you're going to start um, by, and you can read. Now, we often make things very easy with Live Naturally, so if you need to read it, you can read it. And you would say, welcome to doTERRA. Um, I'm just gonna read this for you. This membership consult is designed to help you customize a wellness plan for you and your family by identifying the areas of greatest need. In the categories below, rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. One would be poor and 10 being perfect. From this information, your wellness advocate will help you target one or two areas of focus as you begin your wellness journey. So you don't have to read that, but if you are unsure of how to start, well then just read it, it's totally fine. And one thing that you can say, because we do go through the wellness pyramid um, with eating right, exercise and things like that, we refer back to class. I say, remember in class how we talked about the wellness pyramid and the foundation of good health was eating right and things like that? We're going to dive into that a little bit deeper right now because you want them to recollect that they went through that in class, um, but you also want, you know, in class, it's, your classes are pretty short. You probably didn't go into that in, in great detail, so now it's time to do that, okay? So you can say, we're going to start with eating right on a scale of 1 to 10. And, and I'm not gonna go home and tell your doctor or your husband what your scores are, but what would you rate yourself? And they'll give you their answer and you're gonna mark whatever they say, okay? So hypothetically, we're gonna say, they say, you know what, I do pretty good, I'm like a six. I'm like, that's great, you know? Um, what areas do you want to improve in in that? And I wanna ask more questions than I offer information because I'm trying to get to know them and to customize a plan for them, okay? So I'm going to ask them what areas they want to, you know, do better in. And maybe they're going to say, you know, like, um, let's just say they're like, well, I feel like I should eat a salad every day because um, I definitely don't do that. Or sometimes I skip meals altogether. And I also don't have a ton of energy. And that's probably food related. OK, so say they tell me that. OK, that's pretty common. No big deal. I was like, one of the things that we often like to help people to really truly understand is that everything we eat either feeds disease or fights disease. So you're right. Eating that salad every day is going to be awesome for your health and it's going to help you fight disease. Um, but because none of us eat perfectly, we highly recommend lifelong vitality. And I want you to circle that. Okay. And I want you to talk about it because Nobody eats a perfect diet, and even if we do, even if we're eating, just say, the most organic, um, best sources of, you know, food that fits our body and our needs perfectly, um, because of the way that our food is sourced and the way that it's not, like, it's not all plentiful, we don't all homestead and things like that, we can't always get fresh fruits, things are on trucks, we're just not getting all the nutrients that we need no matter what. Um, and by and large, specifically in America, we are very mineral deficient. And so I say, because I would say I'm actually a really great eater, but I'm still not getting everything I need, we recommend Lifelong Vitality. It's the number one like product that you could take to transform your health and to feel good about the things that are going in your body. And you're going to talk about each aspect of that, okay? And then you're going to touch on Terrazyme. 
um, and PB Assist. And I would say in addition to the Lifelong Vitality, Terrazyme and PB Assist are kind of like a no-brainer because they're going to help you digest your food properly so you're getting the nutrients that you really want um, and getting rid of the waste that you don't. And it's going to help you to process that. And you also want to be taking a probiotic just for immune support as well as gut health. So do you have any questions on this? If they have children, I'll be like, there's even supplements for kids. If they don't have kids, then you don't need to mention it. It just depends, okay? And I spend a good amount of time on that. I would say maybe like five to eight minutes because it's an anchor product for doTERRA. And it is going to be one of those things that transforms their health. And if you have a powerful LLV testimony, make sure you tell it. And if you don't take LLV regularly as a builder, I would challenge you to start doing that, to start taking it regularly, and you'll notice a difference. Um, and for me personally, when I don't take it or if I get a little bit lazy on it, I start to feel extremely sluggish and run down. And that's um, how I know my body is thriving when I take it and it's actually not thriving when I don't take it, okay? So that's really important. Okay, then we go into the next category. How would you rate yourself with exercise and weight management? Um, let's just say they give themselves a three. They're like, I don't really need to lose weight, but I do need to exercise more. I don't move enough. And I say, okay. Um, I said, you know, it's, it's, it's funny, but there's a saying that says, and it's written here, by the way. I'm not just making this up. Um, warning, exercise has been known to cause health and happiness. And so I would say, of course, we all need to move more. We know that. So I just encourage you to do something that you love. Um, and in the process, you know, what do you think holds you back from moving? And they might say, um, you know, just lack of energy or motivation. And I might say, okay, let's talk about the Mito 2 Max. This is an energy and stamina complex, and it's going to help you give you energy so that after your work day, um, you feel like going for that walk or hitting the gym or whatnot. Okay. So you're very, you're very much listening to what they say before you're recommending products. And this, this whole point is not necessarily just to keep upselling, although we do want them to um, continue on this wellness journey, obviously. Um, but it's to make them aware of what doTERRA has, because truthfully, they came to class, learned about the top 10 oils, a couple extra products, and that might be all their awareness is at at that point. So you want to make them more aware. Um, talk about rest and stress. Again, where would you rate yourself? They might say, you know, actually, I'm... Uh, uh, 10 and I get a massage every week and I feel really good about that. You're like, that's awesome. If you ever want to add and incorporate oils into that, I, you already have frankincense, which is great. I love balance. Can't get enough of it. If you have it with you here, let me let you smell it, you know, that kind of thing. So it's very conversational and fun. Um, serenities for sleep. Are you good at that? Like, I just, I'm going to ask these questions, you know, and then you can, introduce or not the emotional enrollment therapy system if you feel like it lends to that. So again, you're listening to what they're saying and then you're matching products and making that conversation and the education match what they're saying. And then reducing toxic load, this one's my favorite. So if I um, would tell you exactly what I do, I'm going to spend way more time on eating right and reducing, reducing toxic load than anything else. Um, unless they're like, adamant about like the two middle categories but this is most important to me and this one both of these are going to be like a sure bet on an LRP and so that's why I want to focus on them more and be a little more passionate a little more enthusiastic about them so I said let's talk about reducing um, toxic load and I said it says here the accumulation of toxins in the body mind system accelerates aging and I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. So tell me where you're at with reducing toxic load. Um, are you even aware of like the toxins in your cleaning products and personal care products? And you know, you don't know who you're dealing with because just because they, you know, get a massage every week doesn't mean they're not cleaning their toilet with Clorox. Clorox, like we don't know where people are at, and so you have to ask these questions. And so they might say, you know, I'm, you know, I do okay. I'm like, we just, you know, we use Mrs. Myers and things like that. I'm like, okay, so you're, you're kind of making some strides in that. That's good. Um, there's, a, there is a long way to go with that. Um, and the sky's kind of the limit, but I would say this is my favorite category because it will save you money in the long run. And it's so gentle, your babies, your dogs, everybody can lick everything that you clean and um, and eat the products as well, and no one is going to have to call poison control. 
So say they say like uh, five or something, okay? And then one of the things that we encourage you guys to do is talk about the toothpaste big time, okay? To really talk about the toothpaste. This will come into play later, but you can say, this is my favorite product. We get it every single month. And the reason I love this product is because it's so easy to switch from a toxic substance to a non-toxic substance and everybody brushes their teeth. So you definitely want to try the On Guard toothpaste because if you look at a normal tube of toothpaste, it usually says if you ingest about a teaspoon of toothpaste, you're going to have to call poison control. And people are often like, really? Um, especially if they have children. You know, Now, if they don't have children, they might not uh, know that or care too much because they're not necessar necessarily swallowing toothpaste. But I work with a ton of moms, and nobody wants their kids swallowing um, like a uh, commercial brand toothpaste. And so I say, yep, because doTERRA, it's non-toxic, it has the essential oils in it, there's no fluoride, no neurotoxins to, to um, harm them, they could literally eat the toothpaste. Not that you want them to, but this is the best product and such a great way to start changing over your um, personal care products. On Guard Concentrate's another one I love. If you're looking for a new skincare line, this one will make you look young and beautiful. Um, and then obviously we have shampoo and conditioner too, which I'm a huge fan of. So I don't spend time time on those things, but I, again, I'm making them aware of what we have to offer. But the toothpaste and the LLV, you can tell, are the two biggest things that I really hit on in every single membership um, consult, no matter what, okay? So as you go on, you're gonna flip over then and we're gonna create a wellness plan that's really custom to them. And I'll say, we're gonna do a wellness plan for you that's really custom to you because I wanna know your health goals and I want you to make sure, I wanna make sure that you know what products you already have. They're gonna help you meet those goals and we'll see if you're lacking in anything. Um, a really great tip for this point is to have a reference book with you because you're going to want to look up whatever you're recommending to them. You might know it off the top of their head, but the point is you are you should not be their essential oil guru that every time they have a question, they text you or call you, okay, or they have to post it on Facebook, which is a great resource, but it would be really empowering if you have a resource book with them. It doesn't mean you have to give them a resource book, but it's amazing for them to be able to see you use a resource book, and then they might ask you about it, and maybe if they set up an LRP, you give them one. Maybe you just direct them to where to buy it from. That's up to you, but it's really good to draw attention to the fact that you're not the expert, the oils sell themselves, and we use reference books when we need them, okay? And so you have them, you write in their name, and let's just pretend we're dealing with um, Beth, okay? So I'm, I'm chatting with Beth, and she tells me her health goals. So Beth's first health goal is, um, let's say, achy joints, okay? So Beth tells me she has achy joints, okay? And I'm like, okay, let's look that up in our reference book. So we look up achy joints, and I'm going to sit there with her and look at what it says to do for the achy joints. Okay, and so it'll say probably like deep blue. And I'm like, great, you have deep blue. Um, have you used it yet? And she's like, oh, yeah, I have used it yet. I don't know if I'm using it right. So we'll talk through that. We take the time with it. And maybe it recommends like deep blue polyphenol complex. And so what I'm trying to do in this is tell her what she already has and make sure she's using it. But then also I'll write down on there um, two polyphenol complex morning and night. And I'm like, this is something to add to your wish list because a lot of people with achy joints take this on a regular basis and find amazing relief. And you can add it on to that lifelong vitality as well, you know. Um, and so I'll go through a couple of those things with her. What's your next, you know, skin condition or what's your next issue? Sorry. And maybe she says, um, you know, I have a ton of skin tags. Okay. Not a hard one. I'm sure you all know exactly what to do for a skin tag, but you know what? Let's look it up. Let's see what we got. And so we'll look it up and see what the book recommends. And I'll give her some guidelines and some direction on what to use. And I'll say, if it doesn't fall off in like 10 days, you might also want to try whatever, you know, and write something else in. Um, and so you're kind of, um, one, again, just pushing them toward the product they already have and helping them to use it, feel really empowered. But then you're adding on another product or two so they kind of are developing a little bit of a wish list, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. Now, you can say to them, you know, would you, do you have any questions for me about maybe your husband or a child in your home that's struggling with something um, outside of the ordinary? Because I basically, I've covered in a class 
basic health, right? I've covered the top 10 oils, um, but they, this is my time to really serve them. And so they might say, you know what, my husband snores and I can't remember what you said for that. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's easy fix. You got that. You already have breathe, do this, this, and this with it. I, did you get a diffuser? Um, you know, and you probably would know if they did or didn't, but, um, you might say you might want to have another diffuser right by your bed or by his side of the bed and put breathe in there at night. Cause that's going to help a lot to open up his airways so that he's not, uh, snoring so much. And so you're going to write those things down too. And again, make sure you're looking up those solutions in the book because they're going to see other things listed in the book as well. And you're teaching them how to find answers on their own. So that's a really key element of this. Um, down below, you can point out protocols for success. There's a really great um, just way to take LLV. So I'll say, you know, when you get your lifelong vitality, here's some tips on how to take it. Um, and then also um, just avoiding sugar and things like that. It's a good reminder. There's a little uh, trim shake recipe that we made up. Um, for rest and manage stress, I love a good detox bath. So you could say, have you ever taken an Epsom salt bath? This is what I highly recommend because you could do this on a regular basis. Maybe if you can't get to that weekly massage or whatever. And just a tip for you guys, if people are like, oh, I'm not a bath person, I encourage people to plug the tub and still put in two cups of Epsom salt and some essential oils and just let it soak into their feet while they're showering. So that's another great option. Um, so you could recommend that and you could even write in there, um, shower, you know, or you could write in your own recipe and then reducing toxic load. Here's a cleaner spray. And one thing with this you want to recommend is, um, or you could even take it and gift it is the new, um, misters, the new ultra fine misters. It's just an awesome product that doTERRA offers for cleaning body mist, car fresheners, you know, homemade for breeze. I love that product. I love that purple bottle. So you could also say, you know, let's uh, look at that right now. And here, if you have time, you could take a roller and help them make a roller. Um, if they, maybe you didn't make a roller at your class or aren't sure what rollers are, this is a good time to take an empty roller and your own FCO, use their oils and make up a roller that fits a solution somewhere in here for them. Um, and always use their stickers. They're going to have stickers. Um, and I wouldn't put like a fancy label. It doesn't have to say, you know, sleepy time and be all pretty, but you could put, you know, lavender and frankincense and breathe from their little circle stickers right down their, um, their roller, you know, like we all used to do before we got fancy. And that helps them to see like, oh, this is really easy. I know what she made. I know what's in there. I can recreate it later. I think sometimes we get a little too complicated and we forget that people don't know the very, very basics. So we get too fancy and we don't need to be fancy. Okay. So this is a really fun and customizable page. And then we're going to get into LRP chat. Okay. Um, and now with LRP chat, this is an important one to not skip a beat in because in your class, um, if you're do if you're teaching from our handouts and doing it according to the way that we train you, you don't really mention LRP a ton. You say that we have an incredible perk program. And when I meet with you again, I'll make sure that you know about it so that when you want to reorder things, you get the best savings. Let's talk about it later, but later is now later is this meeting. And so now is the time to actually take the time to really talk to them about what the perk program looks like. And so at the top, it says my membership perks and it says loyalty rewards versus standard order. But what I want you to do is actually go down to benefits first. And I found that if you go down to benefits right here first and talk about that first, then you can come up here and it makes a little more sense. Um, and so we might end up switching that around the next time that we print for you, but it doesn't matter. It does, you'll like, no one notices there's no flow or something like that. And so go down to benefits first and you can say, I want to talk to you about doTERRA's reward program because um, you have some benefits in addition to your membership that you should know about. So right now you have the standard membership, okay? And I want you to circle that and say that's what everybody starts with. Everybody starts with a standard membership and that makes you able to get the 25% off of retail. And so you got a big discount on your enrollment kit and anything else you order, you're going to get 25% off, which is awesome. Okay. So what they have is a standard membership, which is great. Okay. Now 
if you decide that with your standard membership you want to order something and you can order whenever you want however you want just get on and, and uh, order it um, maybe you just want to order toothpaste you will get a, a credit back for that order for your shipping cost okay so standard standard orders or standard uh, memberships qualify for a shipping reward and so if you pay $3.99 to ship that toothpaste you're going to get a four dollar credit in your office which is like you know four to ten dollars and you can spend that on other things and i'll show you that in a second and so that's what you get out of the standard membership is there any questions on that because all i want them to understand is they get a discount and shipping rewards and most people are like yep yeah, crystal clear not a problem i'm like okay great so now i want to tell you about um more perks that you are eligible for if you want okay so these are optional perks but you can get them if you want so you're you're you get your shipping you know back with the standard order but I want to I want you to pay attention to this 50 PV order right here okay so the the 50 PV order and you can see right here you are eligible now for 10 to 30 percent back in product credit so standard membership gives you just your shipping back but LRP membership or loyalty rewards program membership gets you 10 to 13% back. So what that means is if you order your supplements and um, your toothpaste, you know, and you put in an order and it's an LRP order, you're gonna get 10% back. That takes us the whole way up to here and you're gonna get 10% back. Or maybe you're just gonna uh, reorder lavender, lemon, and peppermint, and I usually point those out because they have those oils. That's a $50 order. You're gonna get three fresh new bottles ready to go you get 10% back on that, okay? And I just like pause a second and make sure, do you understand that? And they'll say, yep, I totally get it, okay? And I say, as long as your orders are 50 PV and you do an LRP order, you're gonna get the 10% back. Now, if you are like, ah, eh, I just need toothpaste this month, that's okay. What it does is it puts your membership on pause, and I draw a little pause symbol, and um, you won't get 10% back, but you still get credit for your other month of, of earning. So it just pauses it. And if, as long as you do one PV, you'll get your shipping points back. So it's no problem, okay? So then I say, um, then the next thing is if you've done orders three times, if you order 50 PV three times, then you're gonna get 15% back. And I circle that. And then if you do that three times, if you do a 50 point order three times, three months, you're gonna move up to 20% back. And then you're going to move up to 25. And after 13 months of being in doTERRA, you'd be getting 30% back on your orders. So that's plus your 25% off. That's plus your shipping rewards. And that means 30% back on your order. So for the sake of math, let's be really simple here. If you do a 100 PV order, and I'll write 100 PV, and you get 30% rewards, you're going to get 30 PV back on that order. Um, plus your shipping, so you know you can see very easily um, how easy it is to accrue points. And I said, so I know that you probably don't understand necessarily how points work, but lemon, for example, costs ten dollars and is ten points. So you just earn three free bottles of lemon, and the light bulb starts to click, and it takes some time. But again, remember this is this is the whole point of like helping them really understand the membership, okay? And you can see I'm writing all over this. Um, which looks messy now, but as you're going through it with them, they're tracking with you the whole time, okay? And the, your scribbles are gonna make a lot of sense for them when they get home. I'll say, just to go a step further, if you order 100 PV, that makes you eligible to earn commission. I'll just put a nice dollar sign right there. And I'll say, you know, and that might not be on your radar at all, but if you wanna share oils with other people or you have your best friend wants to get a kit like you did, you can earn money for that as long as you ordered 100 PV that month. So if that ever comes into play for you or it's ever on your mind, um, let me know and I'll help to make sure that you earn money back. The other thing is 125 PV. This is kind of the sweet spot where not only do you earn all your rewards, but you also get the free product of the month, which is right there and you can circle that too. So 125 is a lot of times where people find that they land because they are loving their supplements as you can imagine. They're using all the personal care products as well and it's pretty easy to be able to spend $125 or points on these products. And so that's where you get a free product of the month, okay? 
So do you have any questions on this at all? Um, and if they, they might ask a question, great, go for it, answer the questions, be more clear. And if they don't, they don't, that's okay. You're going to move on and we're going to go in and log in in a minute anyway. So you're going to be able to show it to them in a second and say, okay, one more thing before we log in so I can show you how to order. Um, I just have a couple quick questions and I'm going to ask you these questions because what they do is they help me to understand how to best support you. And um, I know that, you know, I do this full time and my, you know, my job, my heart and soul is wrapped up in supporting people through health and wellness with essential oils. So I want to know how to support you best. There's no right or wrong answer. Just tell me the first thing that comes off the top of your head. And so it says, help us to know how to support you best, rate your interest level in the following. So I say, okay, um, when it comes to using essential oils, do you feel like you're someone who would just use them on a very regular basis? Like you can't wait to try more. You wake up and you're just like, you know, dripping oils all over your body. What kind of person are you? What scale of one to 10? And um, we asked them to just kind of give us a knee jerk, like gut reaction with this. Um, and this, uh, one of our other team members, Rachel Moran was um, brilliant in developing this. And she had such success in like really helping really helping to help herself understand where to place people. So somebody might say for using like nine, you know, you're like, okay, great. So you circle nine. I don't care if they say one. Um, I don't care if they say 10. You just say, okay. Um, although I should say, if they say one, I'll be like, okay, why, why do you hate your products? I'm like, you do know one means like you don't love these products, right? Um, so anyway, you might want to clarify that. And then the next question is, so that's use and share. Say, so when it comes to the fact that you love oils, um, are you the kind of person who will share them with friends and family? Have you already talked to people about this? Or are you pretty like private, keep to yourself and, and things like that? And they'll usually say, well, oh no, my mom, everyone, my whole family's already been over here sniffing and touching and all the things. Um, and they can't get their hands out of my, um, you know, oil bag or whatever. I'm like, okay, so what would you rate yourself? I don't want to come up with a number for them. I want, I really want to see what they're going to say. And they'll say, you know, let's say an eight. I'm like, okay, great. Um, and then what about teaching? Like, do you ever, have you ever felt like, just kind of like, I could do this. I could explain how to use essential oils to other people. Um, and that's all I say. I, I don't really go into like, do you want to build a business or anything like that? Like, could you explain to other people how to use oils? And they're like, yeah, maybe. I mean, I just, I don't really want another job. I could do it, you know? And I'm like, okay, what's your number? Just give me a number. And they might say a five, which I'm like, that's a great number to me. So I'm like, okay, great. And I was like, I'll say, this helps me to know where to best place you and how to support you. And if you ever are thinking about like, hey, I'd like to earn a little bit of extra income with doTERRA, um, or I'd like to, you know, share oils with other people, let's connect because I'm going to help you do that. And we'll set up a time to talk. So you see there's a business consult time here, right here, over here. Um, and you can set that up right away. And I'll say, even when they say five for, like if she said to me five for teaching, I would say, do you want to sit down with me and just learn how you make money doing that or just pick my brain about what it looks like to earn money with doTERRA because I'd love to take you out for a coffee to some time or love to have tea with you and um, we could talk about that so always offer that invitation and I cannot stress enough that that is one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they do not ask people to listen to the business of this um, and if you don't ask people, you're not going to have builders. And then you're going to tell me, I don't have builders. I don't know how to find builders, but you're not asking for builders because every single enrollment that comes through your organization that you get to sit down with should be asked that question and given the chance to listen to the business opportunity. Another option, which I've done a tipster Tuesday on this, I think back in November, but you could say, Hey, because you're, you know, kind of in the middle there with interested in maybe explaining how to use oils with other people. Every month I do a, um, a little get together at my house. It's like the other side of doTERRA where we talk more about business and how, just understanding what that looks like. It's very informal. Would you want an invitation for that? And then you can invite them to that and dive in that way. Okay. So there's a lot of opportunities there, but I guarantee you, if you talk about the business more, and you give people the opportunity to join you in the business, 
and you're willing to sit down and explain it to them and you put it forth like it's the best thing ever because it's seriously the best thing ever, um, then you're going to have business partners in this, okay? So this is crucial. So after that's all said and done, I said, okay, we're going to log in now and usually I have my computer. You can have your tablet with you. You can always log in on your phone. I love having a computer though because the phone is small and I always kind of think of a mobile um, like website as a secondary thing it, that's easy to navigate once you figured out how to do it on a computer but it doesn't always translate back the other way so maybe if you're like super great at using your phone log in on your phone great I love to have the computer just saying okay so I have their member ID and password here and I'll point that out I say I have your member ID and password written right here for you um, so we're going to log in, we're going to go to, you know, doTERRA.com and put it in here and, you know, you show them what you're doing and say, don't worry if you don't forget, I wrote it down for you. And you might need to point it out a couple times just at that sense of like, oh yeah, where is that login, you know? Um, so once you pull it up, this is kind of the key part is you're kind of showing them around, like this is how you shop. This is where you find single products. This is where you find, you know, um, or single oils and blends. This is where you find uh, personal care products. You're kind of just going through things with them. And so um, I say to them, um, are you ready to set up your loyalty rewards order for next month? And I say, I just, I need to know because we either have to press the purple button or not, you know? And usually they'll say, well, I guess I should do it. I mean, it makes sense. And I really want the toothpaste. I'm like, and they're kind of look at me like, I guess I should do it. Should I do it? And you're like, yeah, let's do it. Let's get it started. And you can pick whatever date you want. I said, keep in mind, if you order before the 15th and you do a bulky order, you do 125 PV, then you definitely want it before the 15th so you get that free product. So that's going to come into play. And I might go back up to the top and just like put an arrow under there, you know, so that they remember it or put the 15th in the empty bottle up there, you know, type of thing. Um, cause I want them to remember that, but you know, whatever date they pick is what date they pick. I'm just going to do my best to educate them. So we'll pick a date and we'll go in and we start adding things to their cart. And I'll say, um, did you want to start with that toothpaste? Cause the toothpaste is such a soft way to start. You know, it's like, yeah, I mean, we need toothpaste. Definitely want to start with toothpaste. So I always say, do you want to start with the toothpaste? And I'm like, yep. So I say, okay, this is how I find it. You can either go into personal care products or you can search in this tab, add it to your cart. Um, I said, what else do you want to add? And we'll open this back up because remember we wrote down. Now, I because I want them to remember. I want them to remember LLV and I want them to remember other things. Like, what else did you want to add to that? Do you, are you going to start taking the lifelong vitality? And I don't really say, do you want to start taking? I just say, are you going to start taking the lifelong vitality? And they'll probably say, yeah, I'm going to start taking that because I want to also get that deep blue, you know, or whatever. So we'll get that on there. And I'll say, did you have, um, did you get coconut oil with your first order? I can't remember. And they'll say, oh, no, I didn't. I'm like, okay, we definitely need to add that one too. You really can't um, oil well without a good carrier. And I'll put that on there too. And so they kind of see, um, what what it looks like how they you know how everything gets added up i point things out to them and i can say is there anything you want to try anything fun that caught your eye as we we're going through stuff and you know they might be like i don't know what would you recommend if i was going to get like one oil what would you recommend and um it just depends usually i go for balance because i just think people absolutely love balance i have never actually met anyone that doesn't you can't go wrong with it. So I can say, you know, it just depends on what your goals are. But if you want to do something that's great for rest, managing stress, sleep, just, you know, overall feeling of groundedness, balance is actually, you know, just high up there in my favorites. And they're going to listen to whatever you recommend. Okay. So of course you could recommend, you know, um, yarrow palm if they have, you know, skin condition or hormone imbalance and things like that. But I'm not necessarily going in for the kill and you know, you know what you really need, you really need Melissa right now because it just seems like um, you're just trying to sell top shelf liquor, you know, and that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to serve them well. So just keep in mind that if they're asking for input, give them some input, feel free to give them some input, but don't try to like 
rob them. Does that make sense? Um, they'll have plenty of time to find conviction and, and the need to order Melissa and Haley Chrism as they go, for sure. Um, and the more you educate, the more they're going to order, okay? So they're going to give you a few things, and you finish up with that, you know, show them how to save, and then just remind them that this cart is completely customizable, um, but it will run again the following month. So you can say, we have this set up for you February 12th. It will process and charge your card on February 12th. If before then you decide you need something else, you can always add. Um, and I don't say, or you can delete stuff we put in there, although they can, I don't actually give them the option verbally. I don't like say, or you can go delete everything I just added there, you know? I say, if you can think of something that you wanna add, you can still add it, um, but it will process on the 12th. And then it will reset for you naturally, automatically to go again March 12th. And so you're going to go in early March and um, edit your cart because you probably don't want balance again. You're still going to have a good amount, but maybe you're going to want to try something else. Um, and usually your supplements and your toothpaste, they just stay in there. Um, but you can everything else you can edit out or change out. And they're like, really? That's awesome. Like, yep, that's awesome. And uh, that's kind of all I do. And then we save and close and, and exit out, okay? And so you can have them log back in if you want to just make sure that it works for them and they're doing great with it, but you don't have to, okay? So you can log back in if you want, whatnot, and just remind them your contact info is here. The other thing I point out on here strategically is um, if you ever have a product question that I can't answer for you, there's product support that you can email. Um, for example, if you're unsure if, um, I want to say if all of our products are gluten-free, for example, which they are. But if you want to really know or confirm, you can email product support. Or if you ever have a question, like maybe you got two oils for free, you got two products of the month, and you wanted to clarify or see if something happened, you could call customer service right here and let them know. And definitely say that and don't say, you know, if your oils come cracked and they're all spilled, or if your diffuser is busted, call customer service. Because again, you're speaking all this negative expectation on them. Like you can expect that your oils are gonna come spilled and you can expect this. And the truth is doTERRA is such a good company and we have really grown a ton in, in shipping and packaging and things like that. Of course, accidents still happen and things happen, but don't, put that negativity on them, only put the positive, like if you've got two product of the months and you wanted to confirm or check on that, you could call because that's a really happy accident, okay? Um, and that's not like, oh my gosh, these oils could come and be broken? Like nobody wants that, okay? So just be really careful and pay attention to what you say. Um, and then that's it, so I'm all done with them. I usually just, you know, I'm so glad that we could meet. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you want to get a book like I have, you could write down like, you know, aroma tools or share oils or whatever that you got your book. And if you want to give it to them, you can wait and see if they set up their LRP and you could just say, I, um, I always give everyone who sets up an LRP this book. If you guys don't have a great book that you love, um, the Oil Magic book is really great for first time users and you can get like small, like spiral bound ones of that. Essentials of the Earth is another great little one, um, and those are pretty affordable. Uh, so you're always kind of thinking, am I giving them something that cost me a ton of money and is going to hurt my business, or am I giving them something that's going to be a good return on investment? And so like sometimes the big hardback books are a little more pricey, um, and so I don't like to go down that road because they're beginners, and so a nice small beginner book is usually sufficient. So. Those are membership consults. Again, you guys can purchase the whole, like a package of these handouts um, on livenaturallytools.com or you can download it as well. And so I like to have the actual handout because I just think it's so professional. I wanna show up my best at this meeting with them because I potentially, not only am I serving a customer, but I'm potentially connecting and um, possibly having a new business partner. And so I want to be there with somebody, uh, I wanna be there in a way that says, join my business with me. That being said, if you're in a pinch or you run out and you need to do a membership consult or you need to do it online where you're like, I need to do it via Zoom, we do have it as a downloadable PDF and that's for those purposes as well, okay? So 
do what you want with it. Um, I'm so thankful that you guys joined us for Tipster Tuesday. We will hopefully see you again next week. Have a great one, everybody. Bye-bye.